The Islamic Republic, we do not stand nor support any war anywhere, n not in Europe nor anywhere else. We do not see any war to benefit any sides in Europe. Any type of tension and flaming, fanning the flames of violence in Ukraine. Presiden Iran Ibrahim Raisi menuding Amerika Serikat telah memperburuk perang di Ukraina. Namun Raisi menyatakan akan mendukung perundingan damai untuk mengakhiri perang Rusia dan Ukraina. Demikian disampaikan Presiden Raisi dalam pidatonya di Sidang Majelis Umum PBB New York Selasa 29 September. Melansir AFP, Raisi menyebut Amerika Serikat telah mengitasi api kekerasan di Ukraina untuk melemahkan negara-negara Eropa. Dalam kesempatan itu, Raisi juga mengkritik Amerika Serikat soal kesepakatan nuklir. Dia meminta Amerika Serikat menunjukkan niat baik dan menghidupkan kembali perjanjian nuklir yang ditinggalkan Washington pada 2018. Sebagaimana diketahui, Iran memiliki hubungan yang tegang dengan Amerika Serikat. AS telah menjatuhkan sanksi baru terhadap Teheran karena menjual drone serang ke Moskow dan juga membantu membangun pabrik untuk memproduksinya. Namun Raisi membantah memasok drone ke Rusia. Ia mengakui bahwa Iran dan Rusia telah lama tidak memiliki hubungan yang kuat termasuk kerjasama pertahanan. Raisi menegaskan kenetralan Iran yang sebagian besar menolak memberikan dukungan terhadap resolusi terkait perang Ukraina. Islamic Republic, we do not stand nor support any war anywhere, not in Europe nor anywhere else. We do not see any war to benefit any sides in Europe. Any type of tension and flaming, fanning the flames of violence in Ukraine has been done by the United States of America in order to weaken the European countries. And this is a long-term plan, unfortunately. We support any initiative for a cessation of hostilities and the war and support any political measure we fully announce our support for such initiative. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, the Americans, Americans leaving the JCPOA showed an official trampling upon their commitments by that government. It was an inappropriate response to our fulfillment of commitments within that framework by having broken the agreement uh, in, within the framework of Resolution 2231 passed by the UN Security Council, it has committed egregious and unilateral crime in the international arena. The United States of America must explain transparently and demonstrate in a verifiable fashion that it does wish to reach a proper conclusion and show her commitment and choose a way, choose a path, either JCPOA or not. And whether the European countries, uh, by the same token, who ignore resolution UN Security Council Resolution 2231 and their commitments within the framework of the JCPOA, they will ultimately lose on this path. Rest assured that nuclear weapons have no place in the defensive doctrine and the military doctrine of the Islamic Republic of Iran. The international organizations, multiple official reports have stated as much. The Islamic Republic of Iran as two decades ago, will never, will never fall short of obtaining the inherent right of the Iranian nation to have peaceful nuclear energy. Not only we have lived up to our commitments, but Unfortunately, the United States not only doesn't adhere to her commitments within any framework of international treaties such as the NPT, but it does impose sanctions with that excuse as a political tool on people such as the people of Iran. But I am saying today that these sanctions have not yielded the desired results.
it is time now for the United States to bring a cessation to her traveling on the wrong path and choose the right side. Ladies and gentlemen, humanity is entering a new framework. Old powers will keep their current downward trajectory. They are the past and we are the future. Terima kasih sudah nonton. Jangan lupa like, subscribe, dan share ya. Thank <laughs> you.